All right, guys, so on YouTube, there's not any very good videos on a how-to on putting a windshield in, which is not just like a super simple task. So today, we're no experts, but we're gonna try and explain it and show you how it is done. Got the new gaskets over there. Gonna pop this thing out, and we have a parts truck that has a good windshield in it, and gonna put it in there. The tools you'll need are, you want the suction cup. Lock strip tool. Lock strip tool. Putting the gasket in and knife. Nice. Get this at your local hobo freight. Oh, welcome back to the YouTube channel. As you can see, the crew cab has no grill no more. It's because that grill went on the short bed. And this blue parts truck here is where we're getting the windshield from. Got to pop it out real quick here. And also, we haven't showed, but this chrome going around the window seal there, that is also going to go on the short bed. Should make it pop look really good. Anyways, we're going to pop this out here, and we'll get back to you when we're back in the garage and show you the difficulties of putting this windshield in. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get this window super clean using the sprayway stuff. Vice Grip Garage has spoke a lot of good about it. All right, we're moving on to the windshield. This is gonna be the same steps. We're gonna clean it down real nice once again, get the gasket started on the truck, and then start from the bottom up. Yes, sir. All right, so what we did, we're getting it tied in the corner here first and wrapping tape around it so it stays there. Now we're gonna run across the bottom here and get it locked in as well. Thank God it was very hot. You put it on there? No, I did not. Oh my God, I did. I know why. Hair right. off, get on top of the stove. Why would I put it on there? All right, what's working best? We got the seal all throughout here, nice and tight. And we're using tape on the top here to hold it up. And we'll take the tape off as we go. But the seal needs to be kind of where it needs to be before we even start trying to put the window in there. But we should be good and give it a try here. All righty, here we go. All right, so this bottom groove is just being difficult. And if we hold down pressure on our clamps here, as we're running down the gasket, it seems to fall into place. Looks like it's gonna be very interesting on these corners. This corner looks pretty good. And this corner okay. looks like it will be good. Go on that side and keep pressure on. Ready? Push down on it and pull your weight just a little bit. Popped out. Now it should sink down once we get the top right. All right, so the wiggle method on the seal, or the gasket, I keep saying seal, but it is a gasket, seems to be doing the trick. With a little bit of banging. See, right there, that's the wiggle method. Yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My side's not fitting very good, so don't go too crazy over there. Just stop right. Okay, my 
Looking about right, getting about ready for the locking strip to go in there. Honestly, this one went smoother in the back window, I think. Learning. We learn you want to use the wiggle method. You want to lever her up and give her a slap every once in a while. I don't know what we're talking about now. But if you guys know a better way to use this tool, comment down below. But the way we've been doing it seems to work but like i said no experts just here trying to help you all out lubed up this time now it's going starting it in the middle and working around once we get to the end we'll give it a quarter half an inch extra because it's gonna expand now instead of pulling we're pushing into it that seems to be doing it You can flip this tool several different ways to help yourself out, looks like. And now it's separating the rubber as we go, and it's putting it right in the place. Hardest parts are these corners, but it seems to be working. Just hold that, pull down, and I really want so I can't do it all. Get something to put down inside here to help push that down until you around this corner. We got the windshield in there. It looks pretty dang good. You can hardly even see it. Interior's really dirty, but turned out pretty good. Tips have two people. Use a little bit of lube and just take your time and get the tools. You have to have the tools. I think those are a must, especially that, little, that, that little red thing for the lock strip. WLS 900, that's the lock strip. It's the same for front and back. I don't remember which one's which, but I think that's the windshield and that's the back glass. So what? They just got to type in that. Yes. WLS 900, WCR 605, WCRD 1048T on eBay and it should pull these up, all the gaskets that we used for the swept line. Don't get the generic ones. Don't get the generic ones. Watch a video of a guy that got one, saved like $20, but he fought it way harder and they're just better quality, better everything. Gonna help you out in the long run, save you some time and some energy. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If you enjoyed it or it was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment. If you have any tips for anybody else that is doing something like this. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.